video I'm going to show you how to find the standard deviation using your calculator um, from a bunch of scores like in example one here and from a frequency uh, table. So let's look at question one. We just need to find the standard deviation. First of all I need to put my calculator into stat mode. Stats short for statistics. So I press mode, this button up here that says mode and rather than being in computations mode or three stands for verify the true false mode I want it in stat short for statistics mode and I want to choose number one which represents one variable all right I've got one variable and now I can start entering straight away um, I'm going to put in my scores in the order I see them and in between each score I need to press equals so I've got two five seven two occurs again nine Four. Hopefully I don't miss any. Seven, two, six, eleven, three equals five equals eight equals seven, five, and the last seven. Now, even though it feels kind of wrong, you press clear at the end of that to clear that screen. And now I want to look into the menu that this shift button opens when I press shift number one. You'll see there's a in the same color as the shift wording up here. Number one key here represents statistics. So there's some more functions in here. And now I need to find where standard deviation is. So if you can get this far and you press the wrong one, let's just press um, two, for example, it takes you back to your data. So no big deal. We'll just clear the screen again and find shift one and find where the standard deviation is. I'm pretty sure it's under number four. Yep, there it is. So N stands for the number of scores. So let's press that first just to check. And it's not zero. I know it's not zero. I just, after I select N, um, I need to press equals again. And I've got 16 scores. And if I counted these up over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep, sure enough, I've got 16 scores. So that's good. I haven't missed any. Shift one, um, back into variance. And I've got the mean, if I press number two, the population standard deviation is the one I want. And the four represents sample standard deviation, which you don't need to worry about. So let's press three and get our answer. It's not zero, I need to press equals now. All right, and so my standard deviation equals two point Five, five if I was doing my answer to two decimal places. Question two is pretty much the same except we need to change the stat mode to enter our scores um, in a frequency table. So by going back into the stat menu up here and pressing mode stat, that's one way to clear the data. When I press one again, my um, information here is clear. But I need a table, so I need to try and remember how to do that. So I'm going to kind of play around. Um, I know it's not there. We just tried that. I'm going to try shift setup. Ah, oh, this is it. This arrow up here means there's more options if I press the down arrow. And here is another stat option. So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to turn the frequency on. So at the moment I've got the frequency off and perhaps your calculator was in that mode before when you tried to do example one, you just need to go into this menu and turn the frequency on or off, whichever you need. So now I go back into mode stat and I still have one variable, the scores, and my table has, um, my screen is updated so that I've got a frequency column. So my first score is 20, I press equals. I'm gonna just enter my, all my scores and then I'm going to use the arrows to fill in the second column 23, 24, 25 and so now I'll just use the arrows and see the default the frequency is 1 but I have two 20s in my table in my example four of them three 22s seven four and I've got the 125. So I've pressed equals, now I clear it. And I want to use my the statistics menu down here under the shift one function. 
Um, I need my five number summary and my standard deviation. So the standard deviation is still in the same spot. I press four. And if it was the population standard deviation that I was after, then I'd press three. And again, it's not zero. I need to remember to press equals at the end. So let's pop that answer in. Standard deviation is 1.37. Again, if I was doing it to two decimal places. Clear, and let's go back to Shift 1, the menu, and look at the min max. Number 5 gives us one at a time my minimum score and maximum score, being my um, lowest extreme and higher extreme, my Q1, my lower quartile, my median or Q2, and of course Q3 represents the upper quartile. So I may as well do them in order. My minimum is not 0, I need to press equal, it's 20. So min equals 20. Let's do Q1 next. Let's do them up in order. Shift 1, min max, my Q1 is on 3. I need to press equals again, it's not, that's the score, 20 is the minimum that I just calculated. Q1 is 21 in this case. Q2, which is my median. Shift 1, min max. My median is represented by 4. I press equals, it's 23. Q3 and my max. Q3 is 23.5 in this case. And my maximum score, I know it's going to be 25 just by looking at the table, but let's check that um, using this function as well. Number two is my maximum, press equals, and yes, of course it is 25. So now you know how to use your calculator to find the standard deviation, whether the question is given as a bunch of scores, like in question one, or by changing that um, menu up here to enable you to enter your information, just like question two, in a frequency table.